morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on uh, when you're listening to uh, to this um, session, uh, which is intended to be um, an introduction to residential conveyancing, uh, as the title says, for new entrants. So the idea is to provide just a generic, uh, if we can, overview uh, of some of the uh, the points um, which um, underpin uh, the average, if there is such a thing, uh, conveyancing uh, transaction. Uh, and what I will be um, covering in the course of the uh, the next hour or so uh, are these items here, which is the uh, the crucial uh, initial issues to be considered um, in um, a convincing transaction, um, and then looking at uh, in a very brief way the difference between freehold and leasehold property, um, and then considering the what are what are the usual searches. Um, so if you're new to commencing, you know, you may say, well, let's just do all the usual searches. Well, the question is, well, what are the usual searches? Uh, what will they uh, reveal? And uh, perhaps more importantly, why do you do them in the first place? Uh, and we'll have a look at uh, some of the issues surrounding that. Um, and then the, uh, the question of, well, what is the protocol? Um, no doubt if you're new to commencing, you will have hear people say, yeah, this is, uh, we've got to do this in accordance with the protocol, or that doesn't meet the protocol or whatever. So question mark, what is the protocol? Um, and why is it um, important? Uh, and then we'll look at the significance of the lender's handbook, uh, which, um, if you're new to convincing, is something which uh, will become not quite your bedtime reading, but uh, is a, a very significant and important document uh, in relation to convincing. And then a very quick uh, overview of the Law Society codes. Uh, and there are um, two uh, critical codes which uh, underpin uh, certain key aspects of the convincing transaction. So we'll do an overview uh, of all of those uh, particular items.